Every collector knows that a book is more desirable with its original dust jacket, and the condition of the dust jacket makes a big difference. The best way to protect a dust jacket is to put, in, put it into a protective sleeve. I've been using the Brodart Justifold 3 archival book jacket covers for many years. It comes in rolls and sheets. I cover a lot of dust jackets, so I buy it in 300 foot rolls. The covers are archival quality. Everything's pH neutral. The polyester, plastic, the backing paper, and the pH neutral PVA adhesive. I found the instructions that come with the covers not very helpful. You end up with a poor fit to the dust jacket. So I've developed my own system for installing the dust jackets. I start by cutting the cover to length. And then I turn the cover over with the opening towards me. I use a bone folder to just open up the join between the paper and the polyester. And then I insert the dust jacket into the cover. I'm trying to avoid anything that will crease the dust jacket, so I don't open up the flaps until it's inside the cover. Now the trickiest part is pushing the dust jacket into the back joint. Especially um, glossy dust jackets don't slide very well on the polyester. So I put a ruler down across the dust jacket to try and flatten it out a bit and to force the air out. Then I'll put the ruler underneath the paper lining on top of the dust jacket. Once I've got that right towards the back of the dust jacket, I'll open up the cover completely. Then I'll push the dust jacket back so that it goes past the joint just by a millimeter or two, not very far. And then I'll pull the paper back over the dust jacket and the paper will pull the dust jacket down into the joint so that it's perfectly aligned with the top of the cover. I'll hold that firmly in place as I move the ruler back out and put it over the paper lining. I'll force more air out. I might try and just gently push the dust jacket in. There might be a fraction of a millimeter that it hasn't gone in. Then I'll turn it over very carefully, rolling it over to make sure that there's no white paper showing at the top. I always insert the top of the dust jacket towards the joint. I do that because I feel like the two layers of paper supports the base of the dust jacket better. So then I fold over the paper at the height of the dust jacket and I'm looking for just a fraction of a millimetre extension past the dust jacket just to add a little bit of protection to the tail end of the dust jacket. I'll go back and forth until I've got it just the way I like it. Once you get about a six inch length that's uh, well aligned, the rest of it will uh, crease fairly close to where you want it. The next step is to fold the polyester film over. Polyester film doesn't crease really easily and it is a bit fragile. If you put too much pressure on it with the bone folder, it will grab and cockle. I use the bone folder in a motion that goes slightly over the, towards the dust jacket, but I don't do it too vigorously. I don't want to pull the, the polyester film too tight over the front the dust jacket. I go back and forth a few times but uh, don't overwork it. 
Once you've got a good crease, then leave it at that. Finally, it's a matter of just putting the book back in the jacket. Move it away from the natural spine crease and let the jacket crease where it wants to naturally. Fold the front cover back and again let the jacket fold where it wants to and as you close it up it'll pull tight. Turn the book over and do the rear flap. Stand the book up on its tail to get it correctly positioned in the dust jacket and put it flat on the bench and push out the air that's trapped inside the cover. And that's it. These covers are great for damaged dust jackets. This dust jacket was completely split on the spine. I just inserted it into a cover and it looks great. No paper mending required.